Hello, this is Don Myers, and on behalf of Remax Center Realty, I would like to welcome you to our 2012 Ag Progress Days Slideshow. This show was held on August 14th, 15th, and 16th. Many folks think of Ag Progress Days as a show for farmers. However, there are a multitude of things on display, educational opportunities, activities for children that make it truly an event for the family. A person could literally spend all three days there and still not be able to see everything that is on display. There are antique tractors, such as this Case 800 diesel from about 1959. Of course, we have our annual Ag Progress Days display. There are lots of animals that you will not see typically elsewhere in Pennsylvania. Horses are a significant part of the show. Of course, you can always see the latest in farm equipment and technology. and Ag Progress Day's food. It doesn't have the reputation of the farm show, but there's one food stand that always has marvelous hot sausage sandwiches. To me, the very best milkshakes you can get anywhere are found at the one milkshake stand here at the show. And the Ag Student Council each year has excellent breaded mushrooms. Of course, there is always the Pennsylvania Hay Show, sponsored by the Pennsylvania Forage and Grassland Council. And there are lots of mowers and tractors and all types of equipment for any size operation. This is a John Deere 720 tractor that ran in liquid petroleum gas. These were produced by many manufacturers back in the 1950s. You can see the history of the typical Pennsylvania two-story bank barn and how they were constructed. Imagine yourself if you're a farmer hooking up your horses to one of those to spread manure today.
and of course using a binder instead of a combine to harvest wheat. That would be quite a chore. There are many things to learn in the horticultural field. And picture harvesting grain such as they did back even before the days of the reaper. and new this year for tractor pulls. And can you imagine having to get ice in the winter and store it in a building so you would have ice in the summer before the days of refrigeration. This picture was taken toward the end of the show on Thursday afternoon. It was a very, very well attended show this year. I would like to give a very special thank you to Caleb Rabarczyk for taking the pictures for this year's slideshow. Thank you for watching our slideshow. And hopefully we'll see each and every one of you watching this at the 2013 Ag Progress Days show next year.